Hello everybody and welcome back to a brand new video. My name is Nalo and today's video is going to be on the M4A1S. Now the M4A1S is not something that we've talked about very recently and it's not something that's really been in the forefront of discussion for quite some time now. However, at the recent PGL 2021 Stockholm Major, which is just now officially concluded with Navi as the victors, the M4A1S has once again come into the spotlight. And we'll talk about that after a word from our sponsor. The sponsor for today's video is ShadowPay. ShadowPay is a place you can go to go ahead and get real money for all of your CSGO skins. They have an easy to use site with a nice instant sell feature if you don't want to wait for a player to play our trade so you can go ahead and get quick money for your skins. They accept all types of skins and if you want to go ahead and actually pick some up for your own inventory you can actually use their on-site marketplace which has an absolutely insane amount of skins that are going to be even cheaper than the Steam community market. The site is very trustworthy and is a great project. So if you want to go ahead and check out ShadowPay, use the link in the description below for a 2% deposit bonus. Thanks. So the M4A1S, an item that was the classic staple rifle for CTs back in the old days of CSGO. However, the item was overshadowed by the M4A4, which became the most popular item for many, many years. However, with recent buffs to the M4A1S, there has been a lot more discussion about its viability. And with the PGL 2021 Major, we saw that all of this discussion was true. The M4A1S is an extremely viable weapon, and in fact, far more popular than the M4A4 at the tournament. Interestingly enough, it actually accounted for almost as many frags as the AK-47, which is insane for two reasons considering how popular the AK-47 is and the fact that you can't switch the AK-47 out for anything else. It doesn't have an alternate version. In fact, the M4A1S was not only more popular than the M4A4, it was more popular by a factor of 10. So what exactly is the reason for this? Well, one of the main things here could be the fact that the M4A1S is 2900, while the M4A4 is still 3100. Obviously, with CSGO being such an economically focused game, having a cheaper item, even only by a few hundred, is usually going to be a better option overall, especially when you're also buying armor. And of course, it's a CT weapon, which means you also have to buy a diffuse kit. It also doesn't cut down on effectiveness very much, and although the M4A4 was a lot less popular than the A1S, it was still clear that the A1S was an extremely effective item for a CT to purchase. However, despite what my diamond coin would make you think, I'm not actually an expert in the world of the CSGO game itself. I usually stick more to the player economy. So that's what we're going to talk about today. Is the M4A1S a solid investment, and why? The first skin that I wanted to analyze here was the M4A1S print stream. This is because it's one of the more recent M4A1S skins, and it's probably the most popular M4A1S skin in terms of recent additions for it. We of course had some more high-end ones like the Welcome to the Jungle and the Blue Phosphor, but those were largely out of reach compared to the M4A1S print stream, and so in terms of a good, solid graph with lots of volume, the print stream is going to be the best option to look at for a trend. As we can see by the field tested graph, we actually did see quite a lot of positive action over this last month. However, as the graph moves towards the end of the major, a lot of this has actually leveled out and gone back to its original price. This is at least a little bit strange because obviously the M4A1S is an extremely popular item with an extremely high frag and usage rate. So seeing the graph kind of level off and return to original values is weird. However, there are a couple explanations for why this probably is. For starters, the M4A1S has not just gotten popular because of the PGL Major. Although that did contribute a lot to its popularity, the item has been available in its buff state to pros for a while now, so they've gotten used to it and they've used it already quite a lot. However, the thing that makes this explanation kind of wrong is the fact that the PGL Major is an insanely popular event. The viewership for this Major was absolutely incredible, and so with all of those eyes on the M4A1S, it's a surprise that its positive uptick was not carried over as hard. The story is much the same for other popular M4A1Ss, like the Blue Phosphor. There's really not not much change in its price being exhibited here, and frankly, there's no positive uptick. But maybe this is just for new M4A1Ss. What about the old ones like the M4A1S Cyrex, which was a very popular one back in the day? There is some form of a positive direction on this graph, but again, it's not really anything to write home about. Okay, well maybe that's just because it's a case skin, and maybe we have to look at something more unobtainable from the old days like the M4A1S Knight. For a more accurate representation of the trend here, we're going to head over to Buff where there's going to be more sales, and it's pretty much the same story there. Not an insane amount of volume, not an insane amount of sales, and definitely not anything crazy happening to its graph. And after looking into this and really thinking about it, unfortunately the conclusion here is somewhat dire. You see, these factors like a high usage rate and the item being super viable for the gameplay are all things that should make the graph go up. To give an example with stocks, it's like if a stock had an extremely good earnings report. By all measures of the CSGO market, these graphs should be showing some positive direction. And while there is some minor direction on some of the skins, it's not anything crazy. And given the fact that we had a phenomenal operation release and a phenomenal major, by all measures the market should be there and the items should be going up, but they aren't. Frankly, there's no clean, obvious conclusion for this, but I would attribute it to just generally lower interest in the CSGO market. When every factor points upwards, but the graph still points sideways, the truth of it is, really, people just don't care as much. 
despite having arguably one of the best operations and one of the best majors of all time currently happening in CSGO, the player count is just not really being super reflective of that and looks kind of like a slow burn downwards. Does this mean the game is dead? Absolutely not. The viewership for the major was still super high and the player count is still arguably super high. It's just not as high as expected given the circumstances. At the current moment, the outlook is definitely bleak. But keep in mind, at any given time, this could change with a massive update from Valve, or even just from the game getting a lot of popularity on TikTok. I don't think the game will be dead for many years to come, and it still has an extremely loyal fan base. but it's hard to ignore the numbers here. Early price trends on some of the new stuff, like the souvenir packages and stickers, do look good, but it's not really indicative enough to ignore some of the previous stuff I've already talked about. Honestly, the best investment potential here is the packages and the passes. The M4A1S just doesn't really look like it's hit its stride yet, and if it does in the future at some point get massively picked up by a much larger portion of the player base, then there could be something to talk about there, but at the current moment things don't look like they're really going to change too much for the M4A1S. Furthermore, we don't yet have a sticker sale going on for the Stockholm stickers, and we don't even have the autograph capsules released, and we don't even know what that's going to look like, so there's still too many unknown factors there to give a solid investment recommendation. So once again, look towards the passes and the souvenir packages. Given the current data, those look like the best options going forward. Speaking of autograph stickers, I just wanted to make one blanket statement that I think is going to be true regardless of what they decide to do with the autograph stickers. The simple autograph sticker is going to be an absolutely immaculate choice, and I believe it's probably going to command the highest price. Not only is this Navi's first major win, but it's Simple's first major win as well. It was also one of the most popular finals of all time, and of course Simple is probably the most recognizable player in the game. As a result, I think his sticker is going to be absolutely god tier, and it's definitely going to be one to watch out for once they actually release the autographs. That's about all I have for you in today's video. There's not really anything too interesting to talk about because the price trends have not really been super reflective of the things that have been happening in the game. But I do have a longer and fairly interesting video that I think a lot of you are going to enjoy, and that's going to come out soon, so keep a watch out for that. But hopefully you enjoy this video, and hopefully give you a decent recap of the major, the events that happened during the major, and what you should be looking towards. As always guys, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to click that subscribe button to go ahead and get the best investment tips anywhere else on YouTube for CSGO. Also be sure to check out my Discord server and my Twitter to connect with me outside of YouTube. And leave a like on the video, it really does help and it's absolutely free and shows your appreciation for the videos. And feel free to check out Shadowpay if you want to go ahead and get some cheap CSGO skins. Thanks guys, I'll see you next time. Peace.